forward and take it away. Well, I'm not sure where to begin on this one. Um, a lot of ups and downs. Um, not a great start. Pretty good finish to the first quarter. The you know, second quarter was pretty good. Beginning of the third was was really difficult. Obviously, we responded well, and then you know they made another run, and then we hung in. You know, and uh, so all in all, um, a very important win for us. Another difficult matchup on Saturday. Obviously, um, you know, Davis will be one game closer to having some rhythm. Um, KP's left ankle, uh, he rolled it, um, uncertain as to the severity, um, we're hoping it's not, um, too severe. I don't think he, he's been ruled out for Saturday yet. Um, but with ankles, a lot of it's about how, how the players feel in the next morning. So. We'll see where he is tomorrow. Um, he was in pretty good spirits after the game, and, and he is walking. You know, he's not in a boot or anything at this point, although he, he has it um, wrapped with some, uh, with some elastic tape. So anyhow, um, you know, we had a lot of guys contribute. I thought Richardson had a very, very good game tonight. He was terrific in the first quarter, especially after Luca went out with the two fouls. And then... Uh, you know, we had, we had a lot of important contributions. And right now we're banged up uh, with Kleber out, you know, KP's status uncertain. So it was another big minute night for Finney Smith. Um, and then uh, Cauley Stein got the defensive belt tonight. His on off numbers were, were the best on the team. And, uh, and he's, you know, continues to have a great year defensively. Uh, Tim McMahon, go ahead. Yeah, Rick, uh, uh, a couple real quick. One, will Porzingis uh, get an MRI? Is that going to be necessary to determine se the severity? And then I uh, just wanted to ask you about the uh, the impact that Reddick made and, uh, you know, whether you anticipate Reddick's role potentially increasing. Yeah, you know, um, I, am not I am not certain whether an MRI will be in the, uh, will be in the offing. Um, and oftentimes players will get diagnostic tests and we, and it won't be released to the media for, for HIPAA reasons and, you know, et cetera. Um, you know, I, seeing him after the game and, you know, he, he didn't seem to be feeling that bad and he was in good spirits. So my hope is it's not, it's not, um, uh, real, uh, a real, um, a real bad situation. Um, I like what Reddick's doing. Um, you know, second game in a row, second or third game now that he's been a plus out there, um, making good things happen, really, both shooting the ball and passing the ball because people really react to him. Um, and, you know, right now we got a we got a great situation with our guards because we have a lot of very good guards, uh, but we have a limited number of minutes. And so this is going to be a feel thing. You know, I'm trying to keep everybody involved and, and try to keep them in a, in a comfort zone in terms of minutes. Um, but it's, it's going to be challenging. And right now we, we've just all, everybody's got to be professional and just, you know, roll with it and root for one another, even though it's competitive for minutes. But everybody that played out there tonight did a, did a good job. Uh, Brad? Yeah, Rick, uh, when one of your best players leaves the floor limping heavily late in the third quarter of a three-point game, things can kind of – your your team can respond one of a couple of ways. What, what did you think about the way the team, you know, took that adversity there? Well, I, I liked it. I mean, <clears throat> look, we had some, some pretty significant ups and downs in this game. Um, you know, some emotional things going on in NBA games to start with. I mean, that's just the nature of it. Um, but I, I, you know, I, I really am, am more inclined to point to the fact that 
you know, when, when things do get volatile in, in games, you know, we have shown resiliency and we have shown poise. And uh, look, they, they went on a 11 nothing run to start the third quarter. And we responded with, uh, you know, I think a 10 0 run or something like that. And that's, that's what you got to do. But, but, you know, overall we want to, you know, we want to avoid um, the opponent getting on a big run too. So, Hey, it's constant growth with this group. Good guys, good, you know, terrific competitors. Uh, you know, I think they all like like each other and care about each other. And uh, you know, we're and we're in a dogfight right now. You know, with the whole thing, with yeah, everything from seedings to difficult games and you name it. Daniel. Can't hear Daniel, anybody. Daniel, you're muted. Yes, coach. Uh, the lineup with uh, Willie Collestein and Porcini is do very well for the against the Lakers. Is that a possibility that Willie Collestein uh, play this uh, starting role or at least more minutes? Yeah, I mean, right now it was hard to get him off the floor. Um, you know, as a as a as a guy off the bench. I mean, look, there are certain reasons that we like him off the bench at this point. Um, but I said this the other day, you know, everything's on the table right now, you know, with 13 or 14 games left, whatever it is, um, you know, we got to do what's best for the team. And, uh, you know, his, his minutes were extremely important to us tonight, you know, and look, here's a guy who's out for three weeks and came back and, you know, he had, to, he had to get back in shape, you know, at the end of a blowout one night and, um, you know, trying to simulate game, you know, game stuff in the practice facility with nobody around. I mean, it's, you know, it's real challenging stuff, but, uh, you know, he's a plus 18, four out of seven, made a big free throw at the end, um, doing a lot of good things, you know, so, um, you know, we got to keep him going. And obviously it's, it's very important to have him back. Dorothy. Now, Coach, how will you harness the energy, the effort, the productivity tonight for these last couple of weeks for the season, how will you harness this and make it go forward? Well, what a great question. That's uh, that's a beautiful thing about back-to-backs is that they're almost 100% of the time followed by a complete day off where everybody, you know, gets to go away and, and decompress and, um, and rest and recharge and those kinds of things. Um, you know, we've had enough of this now ever since the beginning of, of the, of the restart in Orlando, you know, back in July of the high frequency, high density of games, um, high intensity, you know, all kinds of stuff with testing and this, that, and the other, and teammates missing time with COVID and all, all that stuff. And I don't, I don't think anything can really phase these guys. Um, you know, and I think that's pretty, pretty consistent throughout the league, but every team is different. Uh, right now we gotta, you know, we gotta take tomorrow and, and use the rest time uh, in the best way possible, um, recharge and then, and then get ready for Saturday. And that's, that's where we are. Okay. Thanks coach.